that bladder exercise is dangerous to the child. Dr. Fabor Germany, founder of Avery's Christian College, will lead us in, in our location to be here on the hands of the Lady of God and here to do service for you today. Thank you for everyone who has attended, all those who are here to participate, all the blessings that you've given each of us throughout these years. Thank you for this many graduating classes that have been scattered all across the nation. We're grateful service they render. Make these to accept the motivation and challenge that they need to take as they go from these halls and create their precious name. That's the one that participates today as a speaker of the hour. Everything that's done and said may it be done to your goal. In your name we ask you. Today from the 12th chapter of Roman, beginning at the first through the eighth verse. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, though through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think solely accordingly as God has dealt to every man in the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing, according to the grace that is given to us. For the prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Our ministry, let us wait on our ministry. Are he that teacheth on teaching? Are he that exalted on exaltation? He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy, with cheerfulness. Under the guidance of the Commission on Higher Education in Anderson, Indiana, and under the higher call of God through the administration of His Holy Spirit who enables the church to function in the kingdom work. It is in that spirit of collegiality that Mid-America Bible College recognizes an unusual uh, person and a momentous occasion uh, in the history of the church. We are delighted to join the hands with you in the Ministry of Higher Education. More than that, we are delighted to join into a cooperative venture in the Kingdom work. We appreciate your new president, Wilfred Jordan. He is uh, not to be questioned at this point in his ministry. He has distinguished himself as an undergraduate at Warner Pacific College in Portland, Oregon. He has graduated from our seminary in Anderson uh, University. He has been a contributor to ministry all across the world as a representative for World Service. The vision was uh, appreciative of his services. More recently, he has distinguished himself as a writer and editor of the Shining Light publication. The entire church esteems him. His integrity, his ethics are greatly appreciated by all of us who minister with him. It was with that spirit 
that the Board of Trustees of Mid-America Bible College enthusiastically voted unanimously to honor him by conferring upon him the honorary degree Doctor of Divinity. I am delighted on this very special occasion to present him with that degree this morning. Wilford Jordan, President Wilford Jordan, servant of the church, child of God, and my brother in the kingdom work, would you please join me uh, at the, the podium at this moment? We will take the old hood off and we will place the new hood, which is the insignia of the degree Doctor of Divinity. I'm Wilford Jordan, President of Bay Ridge Christian College. It is with great joy by the authority invested in me as president of the Mid-America Bible College that I present you uh, with uh, this degree, Doctor of Divinity, and invest you with the good the insignia of the good, my brother in the war. God bless you. University, Dr. Edwards, he extends to you, Dr. Jordan, uh, his gratitude and his appreciation for your leadership that he looks forward to working with you in the coming days. And also, Anderson University uh, is glad that uh, education continues to be a priority in Texas and wants to do everything that they can to undergird that particular endeavor. Nice to be here. faculty and staff, stu um, graduates and students, I bring to you greetings from the African Cultural Center of the African Heritage Center of our culture and wish you the best in everything that you do and wish that you recognize us as counterparts.
Such committee was appointed, and through their sincere searching and prayerful consideration and looking for God's guidance, came up with the name of a person they presented to the board. It was a native of Cleveland, Ohio, uh, presently living in Anderson, Indiana, with his wife. Wilmer Jean Brown of mine, who is a graduate of Warner Pacific College, Portland, Oregon. Has earned his undergraduate degree, 1961. One they received, has received his Master's of Divinity degree from Anderson College. And as you just witnessed a few minutes ago, recently, at the Honorary Doctors of Divinity Degree for Study by the Mid-America Bible, Bible College. He has served the church in many capacities. As a pastor in Wichita, Kansas, San Diego, California, he served as an assignment of educational research, a television station K O G O in California, 1971, joined the Church of God World Service staff, Division of Director of International Affairs. He served this position for four years. Other than that, he joined the General Motors Corporation, the Guidance Division of Personnel staff. At the time of his appointment, BRCC. President elect served the National Association of the Church of God, volunteer editor in chief of the Shining Light publication. It is with great joy and thankfulness to God that we present to you the fourth elected president of Baylor's Christian College, Dr. Wilford Joy.
believe our Father that Brother and Sister Jordan, as they come into this work, yes, can be touched by the divine yes. and can feel the hand of God upon yes. their lives. Yes. And we pray for that. Yes. We ask our Father that you'd help them in every area of the work. Yes. They work with their colleagues here at the college. Yes. And they go out across the field and talk to ministers and churches. Yes. And they attempt to bring students to the college yes. as they attempt to increase the, the financial base. We yes. pray your blessing upon yes. every right. part yes. of the work. Yes. We ask our Father that the coming yes. days yes. may be just as great and in fact greater than anything in the history of this school. Yes. We pray that it may grow. We pray that there may be more students who yes. will be able to yes. attend. Yes. And we pray that they may go out from here and spread oh, across yes. the movement and across the world and help to be a, a builders of the kingdom of God. Yes. Lord, we know that there will be days of, of difficulty. Yes. Yes. There are always obstacles when we try to do anything for you. Yes. We would ask that you keep them faithful to the past, yes. and that you give them in this, the encouragement that they will need from yes. their yes. And We pray that as we have laid our hands on them, yes. we may not forget them in these days to come, yes. and we may often take them to the throne of grace and hold them up before yes. you. Yes. We pray, our Father, that we will be quick to command and slow to criticize. Yes. Yes. We will be quick to pray for and slow to demean. Yes. We pray, our Father, that in everything we may be a support in this couple as they work. May your divine will be done in the lives of this couple and in this institution. We pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, were made, these lines were set up so that we might orally be able to go from one phase of the services day to another. So the next orally thing that we want to do, just for routine, in order we might be able to rearrange the platform, we will march out again, march out and come in again. And it might give you a chance to stand in and stretch yourself, then we will begin. Pardon me? It's not the morning one. I'm trying to understand. Okay. We're going to go right into the baccalaureate service with our team, uh, Minister Dr. Morgan, the preacher of the hour. So with that, we will please, everyone please rise, and we will recess, and in a couple minutes or so, we will return. Okay.